good afternoon. Oh my gosh, I look ill today. Oh, that's probably because I was up till 5.30 a.m. I need a better sleep pattern. I'm really excited today because me and Andrew have been doing a lot of life management. Ah, yes. And uh, did I help at all? Yes. Yay! And what did I help with? You helped with... Uh... Well, I can actually start with YouTube stuff. Yay! That's good. Basically, <laughs> I helped him. Well, I didn't help him. There is a there is a structure. There, it's not my it's not my structure. Take credit for it. Um, I can't remember who was it did good, it. Was it a good idea? I had a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was you to use someone else's structure, <laughs> um, which basically helps you, for, especially for people, especially like me, because I'm the same. I have a million ideas always running around. Helps you break down those unachievable ideas into small manageable goals and it helps you focus on or realize what you need to do and how little you really need to do to get to that but you have to do it at the right time the right way and not overburden yourself with pressure and jobs which i do a lot so we've just been going over some of the most important things in our lives like traveling m m me personally buying a house him starting a youtube channel and we finally and we he hasn't started it for like six months because he's had so many really good ideas that are going on in his head and we finally worked out what oh i know why i look ill i'm on the wrong no i feel like i have a different do you have a new spot i feel i might be making it up it might just be a lens i don't i don't know but anyway andrew's starting a youtube channel yay Ah, that's better. So let's go get sushi. There are some days where I am swamped and all I do is work. And there are other days where I should be swamped and all I do is work. But instead, I will lie here for hours and I will learn lyrics to songs. And at the moment, I am finally learning the secret or the edited, the full version of the Fresh Prince of Bella rap. And why is that? Because every time I go to a place, nightclub, and everyone starts, like, if that song comes on, everyone starts rapping to it. It happened at MCM. Everyone starts rapping to it because everyone knows the first bit. And they're like, yeah, this is so cool. And then the extended bit starts playing and everyone's like, oh, quickly, awkwardly drink. I want to be that one person that can do the whole thing. So we're up to no good Started making trouble in my neighborhood I got in one little fight and my mom got scared She said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air I begged and pleaded with her the other day She packed my suitcase and sent me on my way She gave me a kiss and then she gave me my ticket She put Walkman on and thought I might as well kick it Yo, class, yo, this is bad Drinking orange juice out of a champagne glass Is this the real Bel Air living like? Hmm, this might be alright Wait, I hear the prissy bourgeois and all that. Who the right place they send this cool cat? I don't think so. I'll see when I get there. Let's the bread for the pressure blast. <laughs> the last line is like the easiest one to remember. I don't think that was that bad for like five minutes of just reading the lyrics. Well, uh, they landed and when I got out, there was a like, cup with a stand there. Oh my god, I just had this! Well, uh,. The plane landed and when I came out, there was a dude look like a cop standing there with my name out. I ain't trying to get arrested yet, I just got here. Sprung like the quickness, like lightning disappeared. I whistled for a cab and when it came near, the license plate for chest and the dice in the beer. How can I miss that bit up? 10 past 11 and I still make sure I go to the gym. Oh yeah. Right, so, oh God, I've just got a really red eye because I was just rubbing it. So annoyingly, I've already taken all my makeup off because I probably wasn't going to vlog anything anymore today. Um, and I've got really rosy cheeks. Oh, that's so weird. Um, but I was just editing my daily vlog. And, uh, so it's two weeks in advance. So I'm doing, I'm actually doing Wednesday, but I'm talking about Tuesday. So almost two days, to the, two weeks to the day. I'm talking about how I'm about to go to the gym and I'm feeling really good about myself. Uh, because I found my first goal. And it was to curl a bar, which is literally just doing that. I would be more descriptive, but I'm not too, like more visually descriptive, but I'm not wearing a bra right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so so you have your arms by your side and you literally just do that with the bar. And it sounds so easy, but it was the first thing that I encountered in the gym that I couldn't do. And literally, my arm just didn't move. It was like by the side, and I just went to move it. And I was like, literally, it was like just didn't move. That whatever muscle that targets was not there. And I was like, right, that's my first goal then. That's my first real goal. The day I curl a bar, 
I know I've progressed and so in this vlog I'm talking about that and I'm really happy that I've although I'm not happy to not have achieved it happy to have a goal so I actually did end up going to the gym I can't feel my arms right now because I worked out so hard and I'm very proud of that I curled a bar if I can be able to grab the picture I took off my face pulling it which was <laughs> I curled a bar and I'll put it here but I, I curled a bar two weeks later I had a goal and honestly I because my arm didn't move like it just didn't move I thought it'd take a lot longer than that I could only do one but I did it I fucking did it I'm so happy and proud because most of the time I've gone to the gym recently it's because I've wanted to go to the gym sometimes Sean motivates me to go to the gym by just saying like gym and I'm like yeah but I don't think there's like even today I didn't really want to go to the gym it was a bit late I was tired I had stuff to do but I still made myself go and I'm just I can't even begin to describe how happy it's making me like today I used to go, I was getting to the point where if I'd go to the shops, in some shops, I've always been a 14 in any shop. And in the shops that I go to regularly, like Primark as an example, I was becoming a 16. And at first I was telling myself like, oh well, it's cheap clothes, you know, the sizes are all over the place. And to be fair, it, it, that is true. So I wasn't like getting that worried sometimes, but I was upset that I was a 16. And then, so, once or twice even a 16 wouldn't fit me and that is got a lot to do with the fact I'm buying cheap clothes the measurements are all over the place in any retail store but that was a horrible day that was a horrible day that a 16 didn't fit me and my target size is to get to a 12 or if it still looks normal which I know it does so I want to get to a 12 Today, the jeans, the sh like the other week, last week or so, I put on some shorts I had. All my denim shorts are too tight. And I put on these denim shorts and they fitted very comfortably and I was like, yeah. Today, they were falling off me. So I had to go buy another pair of shorts. And they are elasticated. Um, but I picked up a size pair of 14 leggings and 14 shorts because these were a size 16 shorts. That were falling off me and I was like let's hope and I tried them on and they fit perfectly and I'm actually getting a bit emotional just thinking about it because even though they're still quite big and I'm still quite a big size my attitude towards my body has changed so much like I, I like that could be because the thing is with me it's not that my legs have gone down it's all my even my hips my stomach's gone down for that because the first thing when i start losing weight i lose it in my stomach and when i was buying these large size pants it wasn't because my legs had got bigger well, they had obviously my thighs had got bigger but i've always had big thighs it was my stomach my stomach was always bloated and i was always like my stomach would be protruding it as much as my boobs which is one of the reasons why if you look in my vlogs I'm always wearing baggy tops never wore fitted tops and i'm starting to wear slightly better fit stuff and noticing that my stomach isn't protruding anymore so it's not the fact that my overall body image has gone down a size it's that my stomach was becoming a size 16 or 18 the waist was too tight on 14s and my stomach is reduced enough to be able to wear 14s and it just and like the other day like one of my big goals emotional goals is to wear tank tops in public and not worry about people seeing my arms i've hidden my arms from the world for about my entire life my entire adult life i hate it no wouldn't show my arms to anyone hated it always wore cardigans and stuff like that always wore tank tops but always wore cardigans like and then um The other day I was looking at my body and instead of thinking, God, I hate that, I hate that, I hate that. I looked at it and went, not for long. Or I'd be like, if I see someone I don't like about my body, I'm like, I'll change it. 
Like, and that's in three weeks. That's in three weeks that my body, that my attitude has changed like that. Oh, sorry, I'm going on too long and I'm not actually making a lot of sense because I'm really, really tired. But I guess my vlogs are like my video diary and I'm just kind of bleh, bleh, word vomiting everywhere. But yeah, like, I'm, it, I've noticed my first physical difference that my stomach has gone down and two, I've noticed my strength go up and my biggest change is just my attitude. My attitude towards my body, my attitude towards my health and my diet, my attitude just towards life. I'm just I'm feeling amazing right now. And although I'm still like, I keep forgetting to do my mood diary on my Facebook page. If you follow Torathina on Facebook, I am doing this mood diary where I talk about every day. I haven't done it for like the whole weekend, which is annoying me, but I've been very busy. But like, I should be doing every day because I'm trying to track my mood swings and my dark days. And I am having them. My mood diary says that I am but overall I'm feeling invincible and I love it and uh, I'm gonna go to bed now because I've just been talking for like seven minutes it's ridiculous but uh thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like this video because it genuinely does help out the channel and the videos and if you haven't already subscribe if you like watching a girl with no makeup ramble on and on about the same thing for seven minutes so yeah <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow Bye bye